Friday, Ranger Nation. With Friday, you get a brand new Ranger Week in review. First Ranger Week in review of 2018. Ah, I'm excited. I'm super, I'm, I'm oddly like, I'm really hyped. I'm really hyped for tonight, which is crazy because this is like the slowest news time of the year. So sit back, relax, enjoy the news. We've got Hyperforce stuff. We actually have a lot of gaming, RPG kind of stuff going on. New merch, new stuff for Lubin Ranger vs. Pato Ranger. Sit tight, hold on, grab a drink if needed, because the Ranger Recon Review starts right now. Everybody, Ranger Liz here. Welcome to the Ranger Racing Review. I have no idea why I just knocked all those toys over, but let's just get right into it. And we have, do we have anything Ninja Steel? No. Do we have anything Super Ninja Steel? No. And as of this time, when I am filming, spoiler alert, I do film these on Thursdays. It is Thursday night, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a little behind the magic. Nothing has come out as far as the next Power Ranger season Hopefully any time in the next month or two, I'm not gonna wait with bated breath. It's just when it happens, it happens. That's about it for Ranger News. I know, that took, that was a weird pause and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Uh, we have one that's going to lead us into Hyperforce News, and that is the Tokusatsu Network did an interview recently with a game called Henshin. I had never heard of this game before. It's a tabletop RPG based on Super Sentai Power Rangers, loosely Kamen Rider. Basically, if you like people who morph into spandex, spandex, spandex suits slash not spandex, don't at me, Dr. K. You, uh, and, and you want to get into this. Go ahead. I, okay. I think I might tell, I think I might get it. I've tried to get into D&D. Before, uh, very unsuccessfully, might I add, I, I've tried, not my thing, but I like watching Hyperforce, and I had said, if there's a d and that was based on Power Rangers, or Hyperforce, I was going to try to play it. We'll see how that goes. But, so Sachi Network network, did an interview with Henshin, check out the links below, you can see the interview, as well as go to their actual page, which is HenshinGame.com, sorry about that, HenshinGame.com. I could, I, okay, better than, I just, blah, 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 today, better than the fact that it's based on Power Ranger Super Sentai, it's free. Ah, it's free. Guys, check out the link. Thank you so much to the Tokusatsu Network for bringing this to everybody's attention, and I hope if you're watching this and you never heard of it, go give them some love as well. HenshinGame.com is the link. It's completely free, though there is a, an expansion pack. It's, it's only $2, and it gives you, like, two pages of, of more information, more characters, monsters. Looks, looks to be worth it if it's something you are into for RPGs. Thank you so much. Check out the links below. Let's move on to comic news. I know I said I was going to go into Hyperforce, and I did. Let's go into comic news. No comics came out this week. However, I did see on Boom Studios' official page, they had a uh, like their solicitations for March, and it talks about and I'm just I'm going to have it right here, but it does talk about the things that are coming out in March, including Shattered Grid. Well, there's nothing really new on it, there is something that I've never mentioned before, I think, and that is that all of these covers, all six plus of them, are going to be black bagged. That's right, guys. It's a random chance. So if you want a specific cover, you can't, you can't just go to the store. I mean, as hard as it is to find certain variant covers or anything, as it is of comics, it's it's gonna be interesting when it comes out. I hope maybe I'll maybe I'll buy a few and see which ones I like. I don't know, but I'm I'm super excited for Shatter Grid. I'm super excited for Shatter Grid. If you want to see more information about all of Boom solicitations and uh, I think that also talks about Go Power Rangers uh, later on, go check out the links below to Boom Studios. Hi Boom Studios, welcome to 2018. Let's move on to the next topic. Hyperforce came back this week and it came back with a bang it came back with a guest star which is always just just something to look forward to because they've only had four guest stars this is the ninth episode you know i kind of said before i like it if they at least at least every other episode give us enough time to really get with the characters 
but due to the fires and uh, the, the things that were happening, so they have an episode postponed. Who knows what the original schedule looked like, but I gotta tell you, as somebody who's watched it, kudos to you guys. I couldn't tell a difference of what you probably had to uh, scramble and change due to the fire, so thank you so much, and always, good job, Malika. Good job. Jason David Frank was the guest we see over there. He's got, he got his own cards for it. I, of course, did a Hyperforce wrap-up video. If you want to check out, I'll have a card for it afterwards. And I spend, you know, 12 minutes just talking about Hyperforce. The long and short of it is, which is funny, there's a, a three-hour episode I condensed to 12, but here's a shorter version of that. Jason David Frank was very enthusiastic and was very happy to explain in detail everything he was doing. His dial, however, all the ch 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 poop, um, no. Not so much. Uh, he was a little OP because he had an extra dice, but it worked. It was fun. It was in Dino Thunderland. Dino Thunder, wait. Dino Thunder power up, ha! Huh? Fun fact, uh, one of the first, uh, cosplays I did at a con was actually, uh, Dino Thunder Yellow. So, civilian, not, not suit. That's the only suit I have. But, I digress. Hyperforce was awesome. Uh, give it a look with the rundown. There was a huge ratings boost, or rate, you know what I mean, viewership boost. They normally have about 1,700 people. They, at the peak, at the end of it, was over 4,500 people. That's a lot of people who are interested in his Hyperforce thing. If you were one of them and you would join my channel afterwards, hi, this is what I do. I also do awkward waving at the end of every video. You'll learn. You'll learn. Uh, there were Zords fights, there was awesome stuff involved Anton Mercer, and Mezagog came back. There was also Haley. It was a great time. As somebody who really loves Dino Thunder, it was it was so fun to sit back and be in that world again, especially after we had the RPM episode. Guys, guys, listen to Hyperforce. It's pretty cool. Next on the list, also involving Hyperforce. See, we didn't change habit. It's still Hyperforce. Sierra Hannah, who was Sierra Hannah apparently was originally supposed to be the Black Ranger in Hyperforce. How crazy is that? She was originally going to be the Black Ranger, but unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts, she had to go to Kentucky to film, and she could not be it, which, of course, then we got our current Black Ranger. Hi. Hi. You're doing awesome. It's weird because you don't know if she was Vesper, would Vesper be Vesper, or would I? You know what? It hurts my brain, and we're not going to do it. Don't hurt my brain. Next! Oh, also that drawing over there is from Peter Sadar, so he did it during the show. It's kind of cool. Moving right along, let's go to merch news. We have merch news, yay! I don't think we even had merch news last episode, but we definitely have it this time. Uh, props to, I can't, I, I got it from Tokyo Nation, so check out the link and you'll see all the official names. But the Legacy Automorph and Flip-Head Pink Ranger has officially been spotted in the wild. It has been spotted at a target. If you were interested in it, good luck. Um, Legacy Waves are being uh, refilled and females aren't in them. I can just consider yourself lucky if you can even find one that's a female at this point other than my Morph and Pink and... Speaking of Target, they have new Hero World figures. They come from Funko. You know Funko? They're the pop people. Uh, they are expanding, which is probably good for their business. Uh, they are expanding into these Hero World figures, which you will see over there. They just were randomly spotted out of blue at Target. Woo! The base set, which comes with the five Rangers, is $24.99, and each individual of the packs, which is the Green and White Ranger with their Zords, is going to be $9.99, so you could complete, I mean, $44.99 plus tax-ish. I know there's some changes in there. I'm not mathing today. I'm just, I'm not going to math. Not going to do it. But check out your local Target if you want to see them, and look for that auto flip head while you are at it. Also, new officially, officially licensed t-shirts and things have come out. Check them out online. They're on Amazon or trufco.com. All the links are below. Here's some of them. I I saw it and I was 
I was a little mind blown. They actually uh, actually are also actually are also you know doing a uh, print for the wall and some of these things come in hoodies. You got a pillowcase coming, a fleece throw. There's a bunch of stuff and I love that. Okay, a lot of this sort of stuff from Mighty Morphin, but at least they have a few things that aren't just Mighty Morphin. A few other websites though, they actually have a Dino Charge section and a Ninja Steel section, which is kind of cool if you would like to get any of those shirts. Boom! There you go. If you would like to get a whole bunch more Ranger merchandise, I added about seven things onto my Amazon wish list just last night. And I know this is crazy to think, but we are already at Toku News. Uh, we're just going to start with Sentai uh, Q Rangers chugging on. There was no new episode of Build or Q Ranger last week due to New Year's. So I hope you enjoyed that time off and used it to get caught up if you were behind or caught up on any other shows because we all know that we have 14 shows we watch at the same time and we're never caught up ever however we did learn something interesting lupin ranger versus paso ranger is wrong and by that i mean it's lupin ranger versus pat ranger yeah just p-a-t ranger i we all had it wrong. We finally learned the romanization this week of it. And yeah, Lupin Ranger versus Pat Ranger. My apologies to Pat Ranger for calling you wrong the whole time. Meh. What do you do? What do you do? We also have, uh, there's some scans that came out uh, recently, if you want to take a look at those. Also, we got a first look at the toys. And I hope I'm keeping up with all these over here. But when I say we got a first look at the toys, I don't mean, like, in the magazines, because we had those. And then we had the official uh, things that came up on the Amazon page. These I'm talking about, there is a display. These are the toys in real life, what you are actually going to see. These are the actual products. <gasps> Woo! And if you look, so there's a display case for it, as I keep pointing. It's toys from the first quarter catalog. Includes the, um, yeah, we got the DX Versus Changer, Mega Bow, or Bow, I don't, I, Mega Bow. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. Lupin Sword, we have uh, all of the figures, and then of course the Versus Machines series with the Dial Fighters and Trigger Machines. I am so excited, I still need to pre-order my gun. And I might also need the megaphone. Just, just, shh, don't tell anyone. And we also have a uh, build. There were some uh, also uh, Televi scans uh, from the magazines. Yep, it has been a little slow, and I don't know whether to call it slow just because it's that time of year and people aren't putting out news, or it's just slow in all of the news aggregate sites that I go to because you know I can't do all this on my own. Check out all the links below if you want to see the people that I have to get all this content done. They do all the groundwork. I just try to make it pretty on camera. <sighs> yeah, check out the links if you want to get to everything because that is it for the Ranger Week in Review. Thank you so much for joining me. Feel free to follow me on all my social media accounts. I am on Twitter a lot. I am also on Instagram and Facebook. I also post some videos. My name is Ranger Liz for the Deep Breath Society of <sighs> Ranger News. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Ranger Nation, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the next video, which is going to be Monday, come hell or high water. It's going to be the Ranger Year in Review. <gasps> Finally! I know, I, sorry. The Ranger Year in Review. It is, it's coming Monday. Hold me to it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Ranger Liz. I will see you next time. Titanic. I'm gonna knock this whole shelf over one day. And it's gonna be bad. It's Friday and it is the first. Uh, I haven't ever filmed that.